All right, in today's video, we're talking about the Washington Huskies. I've been trying to kind of mix in some videos about teams that have intrigued me this season to go along with the regular scheduled programming of Ohio State content. Washington Huskies have really intrigued me, along with Colorado, and honestly, along with the entire Pac-12. They are the best conference top to bottom, I think, in college football. And you can make the argument that for many years, while not having a true top-tier championship contender, they always played competitive football. And part of the reason why they didn't have that true contender was because they would beat up on each other. The bottom half of the conference would steal a win here and there against the big boys. You know, you had Stanford dropping in and beating Oregon every now and then, you know, something like that along those lines. But Kaylin DeBoer at Washington, man, doing a fantastic job. Brought in Michael Penix in the transfer portal. They had that connection at Indiana. And when he's healthy, as we've seen these past two seasons at Washington, Michael Penix is on fire. Surefire first-round draft pick, in my opinion, if not early second. He's the goods, man. Michael Penix is fantastic, and that wide receiver duo is absolutely lethal as well. Maybe the best wide receiver room, some would argue, even better than Ohio State. And hey, I'd see the argument for it, honestly. Washington, they know what they're doing out there when it comes to wide receivers. Buckeyes aren't the only ones who know how to produce talented wide receivers. But I can't wait for Washington to join the Big Ten, kind of branching off from this season and talking about the future. You know, I just can't wait for those big-time games that are going to be happening. You know, I'm the kind of person where every week I wish my team would be playing like a ranked matchup. You know, I just want to see good football at the end of the day, win or lose. You know what I'm saying? And I can't wait for Washington, Oregon, USC, and UCLA to join the Big Ten next year. I, I wish they were there right now. You know, I wish they were there right now. But e even for the basketball perspective, too, basketball is going to be fun, too. I can't wait, man. But Washington, this year they get USC. And I kind of think USC dodged a bullet last year not having to play Oregon or Washington. I've told people USC is going to start off the year 6-0, and but that backloaded schedule, I think, allows a team like Washington or Oregon to sneak in and, and take the Pac-12. You know, sneak in, Utah maybe sneaks in. Lincoln Riley still hasn't beat Utah yet. I don't know. I could see USC finishing the year 9-3, and starting off 6-0, and and ending the year 3-3 three and three to go 9-3, and three, and, and a team like the Washington Huskies taking a step ahead of them. But I think... In like all seriousness, though, all these top Pac-12 teams got to be vying for that final Pac-12 championship because you want to obviously win it just because, as you would any other year, but you want to have a, a ton of momentum in recruiting and just overall dominance as you move into the Big Ten. You know, you want to be going into the Big Ten on a high note, ready for Ohio State, Michigan, Penn State, you know... All three of those teams are all formidable top 10 programs, as is Washington, you know, Oregon, USC. It's about to get crazy. It's about to get real. What else that means is more good football being played, and I can't wait. Just wanted to shout out the Washington Huskies on here today. You guys have caught my eye, not just because of your badass uniforms, but because of the way you guys have been playing on the field, showing out, and can't wait to see what you guys do this season. And also can't wait to see you in the Big Ten. Let's go.